Hello everybody, uh, this is the segment on pretty much uh, the creative side of this whole process where you get to come up with your own mounting system, uh, whatever works for you, whatever things you got lying around, whatever uh, material you are familiar working with. I work with wood a lot of times so I have <clears throat> tons of wood scraps laying around. And so that's what I ended up using, uh, but uh, using uh, thin metal uh, of any sort, uh, I would recommend using either stainless or aluminum so you don't have to deal with the magnetism of the magnets uh, when you're trying to adjust things. Anyway, these are pretty much the two hard drive uh cases I've used uh, for my motors uh, I believe let's see okay yeah this this is the first one I used because uh, by actually mounting the motor on, on the reverse side on the back side it used to be mounted here but I flipped it over and mounted it right there without any modifications on this one it gave me room to put uh, this quarter inch uh, piece of plywood underneath here and to be able to mount it um, through the existing screw holes so it worked out really good for me and like I say I just used some screws and put them in there either side mount it down that made this solid and I was able to clamp my coil on onto here. Now my first go around I actually used blocks of wood and mounted the magnets to this surface and had my coil out here and actually mounted another disc on top of, of that so sort of a uh, disc sandwich there. But I ended up blowing that one up, and it, that's the one I'm telling you went flying everywhere. So that's why I went to this design of um, uh, gluing the magnets on and get rid of the blocks. And that's just one more step of misalignment, anyway. So anyhow, um, this this particular one, as you can see, I can't slip the the uh, plywood underneath but I just cut it away enough and the holes were lined up a little bit further away than this one so I was able to use the same mounting platform and so I kind of cut around the disc and that's something you could do quite easily in fact here's my new platform I'm going to use these other guys out of the way uh, I'm going to Take advantage of those screw holes again. Do the same thing and just screw them down in there. And that way, because now I have two two coils to play with, I'm gonna you play with both of them. But it gives me place to do this coil this way on this side and my other coil on this side so as you can see I'm just basically creating a platform for playing around uh, and this this is nothing permanent um, it's all just experimental for me right now so I'm not spending too much time on the, the setup but just do something that's stable and secure enough uh, to get consistent results now obviously I got this big piece of wood on this little tiny deal so I'm just gonna put some shims under here uh, when I clamp down and play around with stuff so you know you can come up with your own stuff uh, situation basically just trying to give you ideas um, every hard drive is different like I say these two are different enough to where 
you know, I've mounted this motor on the back side as well as this one, but I have more room with this one than that one. So, here's another hard drive design that, you know, pretty much you got all the room you want, just leaving it the way it, it came out of the factory. So, it all depends on what hard drive you got to work with. And your creative mind. Now, one reason I use the uh, back side too is because the whole base has been milled uh, nice and flat on that side so it helps to support your platform whatever you come up with uh, you know perpendicular to your magnets and nice and neat so those are some ideas uh, one thing you have to be aware of is you know you might be taking a hard drive apart that has multiple discs on it, like this one. There may be three or four discs on them, depending on how new the drives are. So, you always have to build up, if you, you know, because really all you need is one single disc here. So you got to be able to build up these little wedge rings, which are, I have all these here for, is, you know, they're all different thicknesses, so when you actually mount this drive this plate here has to hold this disc down securely and there's only so much room so you kind of have to create the right wedges to make that happen or just leave the whole existing thing in there together and leave the three or multiple discs uh, but just glue right onto the top one and don't don't change any of that and just leave all leave the whole thing together one of your drives together that you took apart the way it originally came apart so anyway um, I think I'm gonna call that quits for this video and then um, maybe talk about some other points I forgot to talk about or whatnot so see you on the next one